Hello everyone, I am Jaya Kumar Banerjee, faculty of BAJMC at Techni Institute of Advanced Studies and today I will deliver a lecture on principles of typography. Typography enhances the readability of information on a web page, yet quite ironically, it also helps user to avoid reading. Applying the principles of typography, designers break up text into blocks and other visual shortcuts that let users to swift through masses of information making it easier to scan for. Information, it's more convenient for users to decide where to begin reading if content is organized efficiently. The more information a user gets from one glance, the quicker it achieves to get the goals of the web page and less time to spend on reading the screen. Typography isn't just about fitting with fonts and tickering with typefaces. Typefaces are designers, are glass, steel and stone tool architects. Typography is about assembling those resources into something. Simply, how those designs are delivered. During Johannes Gutenberg time, these designs were used to create molds from which metal typecasts are made. A set of metal cast is called a font. These days, however, a font refers to the software that allows us to install and display the design on screen. Each typeface scan consists of different fonts, often representing a single weight or style. In other words, a typeface refers to a family of fonts, such as Arial, while a font refers to a single member of that family, such as Arial Narrow or Arial Black. Now we're going to talk about classification of typefaces. Among the various principles of typography, font choice is something we designers must master. Typefaces speak in behalf on the brand of web page and should reflect the personality. By understanding the different classifications of typefaces, you will be able to combine it effectively. Nowadays, there are many kinds of different typefaces we have to choose from. The three most popular ones are serif, sans serif and monospace. Serif typefaces are characterized by tiny lines of serifs rattling from edges on strokes and stems of text, also called as Roman typefaces. They are often used for headlines and narratives. Example of serif typefaces include Georgia, Times New Roman, Platino, Linotype, Adobe Garmond, Pro and Camberia. Sans serif typefaces on the other hand lack these tiny lines. The French word sans means without, hence the name while sans serif typefaces are considered serious and elegant sans serif typefaces are regarded to modern and dynamic due to their simplicity they are easier to read on a computer screen at every small sizes perfectly boldly and italic way the principles of typography back to the basics by keith bryant on june 13 2013 typography content is a king but typography is crown and design to the throne typography and design both help content, maximize its potential and withstand the test of time. Typography enhances the readability of information on a web page, yet quite ironically it also helps users to avoid reading this in true and most human purpose. Applying the principles of typography, designers break up text into blocks and other visual shortcuts that let users to sift through masses of information make it easier to scan for information. It's more convenient for users to decide where to begin the reading if content is organized efficiently. The more information a user gets from one glance, the quicker he achieves his goals on a web page or a text, less than time he spends starting on seeing the screen. So I hope you understand the topic of principles of typography. Thank you very much.